<laughs> hey, I've already dug a hole. It doesn't matter, okay? I've already. There are some of you that this is the first meeting that you've ever attended of the state committee. If you, this is your first meeting. Would you play, please stand up and let us just give you a round of applause? If this is your first meeting. I want to recognize, I just saw Sharon Blot Baker. I got this name. Last year at this time, she was the Democrat circuit clerk of Crawford County. But she saw the light <laughs> and switched parties back in the spring, and it was wonderful. And I don't know that you have ever felt as welcome in the Democrat Party as you feel welcomed in the Republican Party. Let's give her a round of applause. And I don't know if this person wants to be recognized, but I'm going to find out. I understand that we may have a, a Democrat county official in the audience from another county. Does that person want to be recognized? <laughs> I, I don't want to do it unless they want to be recognized. From Drew County? <laughs> and you are the assessor? The tax collector. And your name is? Tanya Loveless. We're going to have an altar call in a moment. <laughs> And as the choir sings, just as I am, if you'll walk down the aisle, the deacons will be here to meet you, okay? <laughs> but I didn't hear you. I said in my defense, I didn't find an independent issue. Okay. Well, you're on the right track. Okay, thank you for being here, and you are mighty welcome to be here. All right. We are blessed. You know, we have a, I, I know each of us have great congressmen, but I think in the second district we have the best congressman, okay? I just think that. He just lives a little bit up the road. He grew up up there. He was a Boy Scout. He went to Catholic High. He got his eagle. He uh, made his way in life. He didn't get into political office to make a name for himself. He established himself in his private business and his private enterprise and now offers himself for public service to his state and country. I think he only carried this county by over 80% of the vote in Saline, by only 80%, okay? He's got to work on that, okay? you got to track down that other 15% and see who they are. They're probably in the graveyard over there, okay? Anyway, it's a blessing, and he's going to get, he may teach us something today to have our congressman, Congressman French Hill, come forward.